Coach was in here just a little bit ago talking about how he feels like he excised the demons being able to finally win at K-State. You feel like you guys are cursed? That we're what? Cursed. Oh, um, well, you know, when you think about those two three-pointers, they only hit two. Both of them were at the shot clock. One by their big guy who I don't know if he's made one all year. And then the other one, I thought we played great defense. And, uh, you know, now Dage one's got to be disciplined. We talked about all those timeouts was discipline, be solid on D. And, uh, you know, we flew by him. Obviously, you know, he made the big – it was big. You know, those are the big plays. Uh, they Second half, they go, what, 13 for 16. Uh, you got to give them credit. When they, when they struggled um, in that stretch, when Isaac wasn't there, they, they shot a lot of quick shots. Uh, they, they played – very patient tonight with a great pace and got it, got it inside and punished us inside and, and uh, made all the right plays when it counted. There have been some low moments this, this season. Was tonight one of the lowest, just, just the um, nature just of it? Disappointing. I, I mean, I, every loss for me is, is disappointing. And, um, you know, you're playing at home. You, you got a decent crowd. You, I thought we got off to a decent start, 9-7, I think, first time out, second time out, 13-12. Um, you know, they, you know, they made some plays and, uh, you know, f first half, I thought we were a little quick on the trigger. Uh, we go, I think it's, what was it, 12 for, or 8 for 28 from the field, 3 for 11. I thought we had some quick ones, uh, threes. We had three one pass threes. And, uh, you know, I thought we, and when they flew at us, we should have went by and got to the hoop. Um, obviously, free throws has been a, not been our strength all year, and, and a go two for eight, the you know in the first half, uh, and we missed uh, how many little layups did we miss, um, you know, and that that doesn't help either. Coach, you forced uh, ten second half turnovers, but they only miss three shots. Yeah. Did they kind of invert you on on offense? Uh, pull your bigs away from the basket, I mean, they seem like a layup. I mean, a little, they just ran their stuff, and then they got it inside. They got it over the top once on Mac. They got it over the top on a, on, on I think on David one time. Um, you know, not great weak side help. Um, you know, I guess not great ball pressure. And you know, they ran. They were very very patient. Ran the shot clock. You know, ran their stuff and got it and got it to the right places and made made the plays when they needed to. Mike, what's the frustration level for the team right now? Um, very high. Uh, I mean, this was a game we were sort of really expecting and hoping to win. And uh, I mean, we did it. And so it's very, very frustrating. Happy for Mike. Uh, got going a little bit, had struggled a few games in a row. Got some threes, gave us a little bit of a chance. Um, you know, so it was a, obviously a positive step. I thought we got it to Mac, you know, at times. Uh, you know, but it, 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 you know, you just didn't finish enough of those. We, um, you know, we just didn't make the right plays when it counted. Mike, given that you guys talk so much about, you know, closing out the second half of Big 12, play strong. Does it? I guess, how much does it hurt motivation or everything moving forward, given that you're already 0-2 during the second half here? Um, could you say that question again, please? I guess, how much does it hurt morale that you've lost these last two games? Um, I mean, every game hurts. And uh, I mean, the, the fact that they're piling up just makes it hurt even more. But uh, at this point, we're just all we could do is come back and play as hard as we can and try to win the next game. Bruce, it seemed like you guys had built up at least a little bit of momentum going into the Iowa State game. Do you feel like the last two have, have kind of erased that? Yeah, I, I mean, there's no doubt. But uh, other teams, Iowa State had lost four in a row. They came back and won. So, um, you know, we, I thought we had a, one of our best practices yesterday. Uh, I felt good about it. Uh, but again, uh, just the, the things, all the little things have plagued us all year. And, uh, you know, we just, we make little mistakes, defensive talking, switching, uh, you know, offensively trying to make our own play and trying to, instead of helping somebody else make a play. And we were better turnover wise, I guess, uh, but you still only shoot 35%. So you're not working and patient enough to get good shots.
Uh, Bruce, you did bring up earlier, you thought that was maybe the first career three for uh, – or first of the season for Anai. They actually said it was the first career three for him. So, just I know, rough there. But how how good was he? I mean, he goes six or six from the field oh, and he grabs great. seven rebounds. I mean, he, he, was, he punked us inside, and I thought he was, they were very physical. The, the oh, first half, they – you know, they, I think they had nine second chance points. Now, we end up getting more than them, um, you know, but they, they were very physical and there was a couple of possessions uh, where they got two or three. It seemed like offensive rebounds on the same possession. Um, and those, those are the plays that, you know, help them great, get the lead and get a little confidence and get control of the game. Coach, uh, McGurl was on likely number 13 for majority of the game. Was that something that was in the game plan, or you kind of switched to? Well, Xavier started on him, and then when uh, you know, Mike went in, you know, you want a bigger body on him because he wants to get it deep and use his body and, uh, you know, make somebody help. He, we, went on, we went on too many shot fakes and gambled a few too many times. Um, you know, but you know, you, we've had pretty good success with Xavier guarding them the last few years with big bodies, and then Mike has a bigger body. Um, you know, and then you you hope, you know, we, Waters really doesn't get going, and Zagwa really doesn't get going, and those are the guys that have been the scores. But just they, Laurent, you know, kills us, and, and Big Fella kills us, and, uh, you know, you got to give them credit. They executed, got it to the spots, and took advantage of us. Mike, Coach mentioned those two threes that they hit at the end of the shot clock when they were just trying to hit something, you know, you know, put something up. But they hit those kinds of shots. How does the team react, and does that hurt morale at all? Um, the one in the first half, that one, they, it was a good defensive possession too. And I guess he shot it. He even called it that he made it. But I mean, yeah, it hurts. But uh, those plays happen over the course of a basketball game, I guess. So. Yeah, we could have. We still could have done better. We gave them too many easy ones. So those were. I mean, they they could have those, but we gave them too many easy ones, which we shouldn't have allowed. They shot the eighty-one percent in the second half. Was that them just hitting tough shots, or how did they kind of do that? Um, think? I think. Uh, I don't think we were tough enough on defense. Uh, I think we were getting uh, bullied a little bit. Uh, in the in, inside, and uh, when they were, they were uh, Laurent kept cutting. He kept getting in there and just making little plays, making little layups. And Ane played well too. And uh, they were just living in the paint, really. I may have been asked, but uh, the freshmen they go one for ten. They struggled. The yeah, uh, they struggled. I mean, it's it's a fact of life, and. They've been pretty good. They've given us good energy all year. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, it's it's the season's long and hard, and just happened all three of them on the same day. Uh, uh, really struggled, and uh, you know that, you know, you get one of them playing a little better. Uh, it it could have it could have helped. So, Bruce, kind of just looking at, at Cardi's stat line. I mean, he filled the. You know, the stat sheet again, but is it just more of the same? You know, he has the game high in turnovers. Is what did you make of his performance tonight? I mean, he's fine. It just a little more precise, a little more exact. I, you know, I don't know the exact word. Uh, you know, a little more consistent, I guess. Um, you know, I thought first half he 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 took a, he could have drove it at him, made the right play. He lost the ball a couple times. Um, you know, he does some good things, but. Uh, you know, this is this is for him. It's really it's all new. You know, the ball's in his hand. It hadn't been in his hand like this, and uh, you, you learn, you learn and grow. And uh, you know, it, it you know, it, it obviously gives us a chance. But you know, somebody's got to help us find a way to win. Coach, you got it down to one possession a bunch of times in the yes. second half, and then they would just kick it right back out to around eight. How frustrating is that? Uh, you know, again, I think Mike talked about we got bullied. They executed. They got it to the right people. They made all the right plays. Um, and then it, when you when you don't get stops like that, um, now you got to be perfect on offense. And and you know we had some decent possessions in the second half, uh, but but just not consistent enough. Seems like Mac has kind of been a magnet to that first minute foul lately. Is there anything you can do to change that moving forward? Yes, not start him. I don't know. And then you don't, 
you know, we, we've taken them out with one right away. Um, in this game, we just said it was so fast. I mean, it was within a minute, right? I, I mean, it was, it was maybe the first possession. I don't even know, maybe second possession. But, um, you know, we just said, let's, you know, let's leave it. And then he gets the second. And, you know, now you got to Levi. And, and uh, you know, so it, it, you know, we need – Mac gives he's, – he's played a lot better since wherever it's been early January. His energy's better. His effort's better. Um, you know, but we – so we need him on the floor. Bruce, you made mention yesterday that – you wanted to coach the guys harder. Did no, I think you took that totally out of context and totally wrong. I said that I am going to continue coaching them harder or coach them hard. When you go three games in six days and you lose tough ones, you know, as a coach, you back down a little bit. You know, you're trying to keep them positive and feel good energy and hug them and kiss them and make them come back. You know, now, yes, yes what I told you yesterday, we came back – and Sunday, watch film. I said, this is the truth, guys. This is, we got to get better. We can't keep doing these things if we're going to make progress. And, and you know, I, I wasn't going to, that's all I was saying. Uh, if you came to the second practice, when I asked everyone if they could come and if they wanted to come in the summer before we had a little press conference, you would have heard me yell more than I yelled all last year. If you would have came to the practice in the fall when I said everyone could have come, I was embarrassed how I yelled. But, you know, it, obviously I haven't done enough because we, we're not uh, tough enough. And, and it's, it's a shame. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to recover now. But all I can do, that, the shirt, the T-shirt, that they had family and, and stronger together. And that's all, that's all we can be. We can be a basketball family. And uh, that's why these guys came here. Um, and we got to stay strong together. And that, we can't be divided. And I got to help them. And and see if we can maybe some shot clock one will go in or we'll bounce some ball in or something. But we got to stay together and help each other. Thank you, Bruce.